Actually, I recently found out I'm a lot more Irish than I realised. Obviously because of the history of my mother's family and the connections to 1921. So I've had a bit of an education. So I feel like a little bit more brave about saying I'm Irish because we used to have to say we're plastic Irish. <laughs> now I'm like, no, I'm proper Irish. That's me. My name's George O'Dowd, for God's sake. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, my uncle Frank was a good Irishman. When I was a punk rocker, he was like, he never really understood what I was about. But he never said anything <laughs> until, no matter what I looked like, he was like, where are you here? And then one time I brought this friend of mine to a family gathering. Called, my friend was called Judy Blame. He's a man. He's no longer here, but he was an incredible stylist. And he came to our party and he was saying heels and a monocle. <laughs> my uncle was like, why is he called Judy? <laughs> I have to say, at the time, I couldn't think of a good enough reason to say, I was just like, I don't fucking know why he's called Judy. <laughs> you know? I think John Wayne's called Marilyn or something, or Marion. I mean, a name's just a name, isn't it? It's all about the behaviour. So my friend Judy Blame is gone now. And um, the last time I spoke to him, I, I phoned him and I waited for ages to answer the phone and eventually picked up and I was like, <gasps> He picked up the phone and he said, I could always put it back down. Oh, you're so good! 